Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you all for being with us. And I think the chairman's right when he says there's no place for violence in our society, and that is a point that we can all agree on, and we should agree on that. Ms. Wyman, it sounds like that you all are putting a tremendous amount of your resources into helping to train, provide guidance, to do assessments for election commissions. Is that correct? That is correct. And uh, do you have a dollar amount on that line item? I'm sorry. Dollar amount. Uh, on the total budget, I do not know. I can tell you that the election security resilience team that I work with has a $13.2 million budget in the president's budget. Okay, I would love to have that number. I can get that, that you're for you. spending with that local training. I think that would be interesting to see. Um, back in the 80s, when my kids were little, I served on an election commission, and I always found it very insightful to be on my uh, county's election commission. Um, Mr. Polite, um, looking at all these resources that are being put into election security, um, I would be interested to see what the criminal division is doing to help train law enforcement on how to deal with um, the violations that we've seen against Supreme Court justices and what you all are doing there. I found it very interesting with uh, tracking General Garland's task forces that there does not seem to be one that deals with these groups like Jane's Revenge that have gone after the justices at their homes. And that is a violation of federal law. And they should be held to account for that. But that does not seem to be on the priority list. And I also have not seen any kind of work from the criminal division that they are going after many of these same groups who have chosen to attack pri uh, crisis pregnancy centers or churches. And I think there have been 82 violent attacks against crisis pregnancy centers and churches since uh, Roe v. Wade, that decision in the Dobbs case. Am, am I missing something? Have you all stood one up and have just not made it public or is this not a priority? Senator, uh, thank you again for the question. The, the fact of the matter is it doesn't require a task force okay. for us to be, for these types of cases to be priorities for us. What I can tell you, as I mentioned uh, previously, is that very recently, one of our U.S. Attorney's offices in Maryland, in fact, charged a defendant uh, with unlawful conduct at the home of one of our Supreme Court justices. I know that our Attorney General cares deeply about the security of us all, particularly those who are in public service, like yourself and our Supreme Court justices. It's part of the reason why he has leaned in with all of our okay. law enforcement to and increase marshal security. I heard you say that earlier. It is just we look at the task forces that are there. So then what we have to do is say, why is the lack of attention on some of these recent attacks against justices, these recent attacks against crisis pregnancy centers and churches. Why is that not something that you all talk about is a priority for your division? It, it seems as if there's one set that you are prioritizing and there is another set that you're saying is not of equal importance. And if you don't treat them equally, if, you don't, if you've got a task force for one but not another, then the perception is that these crimes against the churches and the crisis pregnancy centers, that these are not important to you. We look at what is happening with drugs 
in our communities? Are you all putting resources into training local law enforcement about how to deal with these drug cartels? In Tennessee, I was speaking with some of our sheriffs last week. I was in seven different counties on Friday. One of their main issues is that open southern border and the fentanyl that is making it to their streets. And they can't believe DOJ knows these cartels have set up hubs on U.S. soil and they're running these drugs, they're running these gangs, they're running this sex trafficking that is abusing women and children, but they don't go after those. So I would just ask you to please take back equal treatment and recognition what is happening to our justices, what is happening to our life centers, our churches, our crisis pregnancy centers, what is happening in our communities with the impact of drugs. That affects people every single day and it is equally important and deserves the attention of DOJ and the AG. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sen Senator, could I just briefly respond? S Senator, again, all of the types of matters that you raise are high priorities, not just for the criminal division, but for our civil rights division and our civil divisions, particularly on the issue of cartel traffic, cartel activity in the state of Tennessee. I can tell you that the criminal division's organized crime and gang section has been quite active with all of the U.S. Attorney's offices in prosecuting and convicting very serious offenders that are members of organized crime uh, organizations in your state.